Can you go through the uh, the four op types? Sure. Um, okay, so you have unary ops, which take in uh, a tensor and return a tensor of the same size and do some unary op to it. X, mm -hmm. log, uh, reciprocal, sign, right? They take in one and they're point-wise. Mm -hmm. ReLU. Yeah, ReLU. Um, almost all activation functions mm -hmm. are unary ops. Um, some combinations of unary ops together is still a unary op. Mm -hmm. um, then you have binary ops. Binary ops are like uh, pointwise addition, multiplication, division, compare. Uh, it takes in two tensors of equal size and outputs one tensor. Mm -hmm. um, then you have reduce ops. Reduce ops will like take a three-dimensional tensor and turn it into a two-dimensional tensor. Mm -hmm. Or a three-dimensional tensor turn it into a zero-dimensional tensor. Things like a sum or a max are really the common ones there. And then the fourth type is movement ops. And movement ops are different from the other types because they don't actually require computation. They require different ways to look at memory. Mm -hmm. So that includes reshapes, permutes, expands, flips. Those are the main ones. Probably. And so with that, you have enough to make a map mall. And convolutions. And yeah, every convolution. convolution you can imagine, dilated convolutions, strided convolutions, transposed convolutions. You write on GitHub about laziness, uh, showing a map mall. Uh, matrix multiplication. See how, despite the style, it is fused into one kernel with the power of laziness. Mm -hmm. Can you elaborate on this power of laziness? Sure. So if you type in PyTorch A times B plus C, uh, what this is going to do is it's going to first multiply add and B, A and B, and store that result into memory. Mm -hmm. And then it is going to add C by reading that result from memory, reading C from memory, and uh, writing that out to memory. Um, there is way more loads and stores to memory than you need there. If you don't actually do A times B as soon as you see it, if you wait until the user actually realizes that tensor, until the laziness actually resolves, um, you can fuse that plus C. This is like, it's the same way Haskell works. So uh, what's the process of porting a model into TinyGrad? So TinyGrad's front end looks very similar to PyTorch. Um, I probably could make a perfect or pretty close to perfect interop layer if I really wanted to. I think that there's some things that are nicer about TinyGrad syntax than PyTorch, but the front end looks very Torch-like. Uh, you can also load in Onyx models. Okay. Um, we have more Onyx tests passing than Core ML. Core ML. Uh, okay, so... Uh, we'll, we'll pass Onyx runtime soon. What about like the developer experience with TinyGrad? Um, what it feels like What a, uh, uh, versus PyTorch? Uh, by the way, I really like PyTorch. I, I, I think that it's actually a very good piece of software. Um, I think that they've made a few different trade-offs, and these different trade-offs are uh, where, you know, TinyGrad takes a different path. One of the biggest differences is it's really easy to see the kernels that are actually being sent to the GPU, right? Mm -hmm. If you run PyTorch on the GPU, you, like, do some operation, and you don't know what kernels ran. You don't know how many kernels ran. You don't know how many flops were used. You don't know how much memory accesses were used. TinyGrad type debug equals two. And it will show you in this beautiful style um, every kernel that's run. How many flops and how many bytes. So can you just linger on what problem TinyGrad solves? TinyGrad solves the problem of porting new ML accelerators quickly. One of the reasons, uh, tons of these companies now, I think um, Sequoia marked GraphCore to zero, right? Cerebus, TensTorrent, uh, Grok, all of these ML accelerator companies, they built chips. The chips were good. The software was terrible. Mm -hmm. uh, and part of the reason is because I think the same problem is happening with Dojo. It's really, really hard to write a PyTorch port mm -hmm. because you have to write 250 kernels, and you have to tune them all for performance. 